In this example, I'm going to show you how to create a profile for a foam trim or some sort of trim similar to what we see on the screen right now. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start a new family and it is going to be based off of the profile family template. And as you guys know, you know the intersection of these two, li two lines is our default insertion point. So depending on where we want this to land, you may want to build it above it, below it, you know, centered on it. It just kind of depends on what application. Since this is something I'm going to assume is going to go at the top of a wall in my example, then I'm going to place it, you know, from here down, basically. And that particular item is not something that I need to make parametric. I just need to build the outline of it, and then I need to send it into my project. Okay, so if I take a look at that image file again, I know that it's 5 inches deep and 12 inches tall. And I don't have exact dimensions for this, so I'm just going to wing it and make it, you know, something close to this. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I will go ahead and set up our overall reference planes, but for the rest of it, I'm not going to do that because this isn't really going to be parametric. So um, reference planes from for width, reference planes for height, and let's just go ahead and assign these dimensions. And let's change the units to inches. Okay, so we'll change this to five inches. Oops. And the other one to 12. And I really don't need to lock it because it's not going to be flexible anyway, so, you know, just the way it is is fine. And then I'm just going to start drawing my line work. So, and honestly, since this isn't parametric, I didn't need to dimension it. This is just kind of for my own benefit. So let's go ahead and draw our line work. And I'm just going to draw this square right now. We'll come back and fill it this. Um, and let's go from here. And I think, let's take a look. Okay, so it had two little arcs. And again, I'm just going to guess on those. So we'll say we'll go out one inch and let's stick to normal. Okay, and then we go up, however far, and out however far. And so the only thing we really need now is to, to fillet this. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll get rid of this line. So essentially that's our shape and we'll do a save as a family and we're going to put it in our content folder. So we'll call this mm, foam trim 5 by 12. You could be more descriptive but for what we're doing this is fine. So we'll go ahead and start a test project and we'll draw a wall and let's go back into our trim and let's assign it a subcategory so I know this is going to be a wall sweep um, you don't have to do this but you know you can it's possible and you'll notice we don't assign any materials in here that's something that is done once it's created as a wall sweep within the project. I am going to go ahead and give this a name. So we'll just say 5 by 12. And OK. And we'll load it into our project. And from here, let's go ahead and go to a 3D view. We need to do a wall sweep. So we're going to create a new type. 
we'll duplicate this one and we'll call this foam trim 5 by 12. We're going to use that profile that we created and you can assign a material to it if you want. So we'll go ahead and pull something up here in just a sec. So I know wood doesn't make sense, but it's easy. So we'll we'll pick one that's already created so I don't have to do anything else to it. And we'll say OK. And then wherever you want to place this. So just go ahead and place it on the wall. And I'm going to escape twice and we'll look at this in shaded views just so you can see it's got the material and how it's created.